Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In a series of video, I'll take some time to uh, walk you through the renovation of my roof, adding mainly solar tiles. We acquired this beautiful century old house, something like seven years ago. And we always knew at some point we would need to do something for the roof. It's quite a big roof, as you can see, but it doesn't leak in any point. The house is made of wood, but everything basically needs to be run, redone. So at some point, we thought it could be a good idea to add some solar panels to the roof and have them actually completely invisible within the roof. So the whole idea of solar tiles started with the um, Tesla solar roof, which I discovered uh, ah, something like uh, four years ago. Um, super nice, uh, super aesthetic, seamlessly integers in the current roof. Um, so I was one of the first, <laughs> probably a reservation holder here in, uh, in Europe. Um, subscribed pretty early on. 2021 they're still not ready uh, for uh, an installation so um yeah search other providers uh, mega slate here exists in switzerland they do have uh, solar tiles uh, kind of flat panels um, looks good uh, at least it doesn't uh, look like the standard solar panels on top of the roof uh, quite nice um had some offer made Quite expensive, but it's okay. Here you have Gasser Ceramic, the standard uh, ceramic uh, styled uh, tiles on which you can add a solar module. Um, it fits the color of your current roof, um, so it's a standard uh, um, uh, tile. Um, you can add it to an existing roof, uh, but it's super expensive and every uh, tile has to be connected to each other, so there is a connection and this cable. Meyerburger, uh, one of the company that's uh, used to produce um, uh, the, 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 the machinery to build solar panels, they now also have um, a solar roof option, um, also some kind of um, tiles that you can fit next to each other. Um, looks good, um, but it's just yet just arrived on the market. Eternit, they're a famous uh, producer of uh, slate tiles, um, so they have actually solar modules uh, integrating with the existing uh, slate tiles. Um, the, the negative aspect of those uh, tiles, the roof needs to be perfectly new, uh, perfectly flat, so that there is no leakage. But what you can see today, they, they even have some color option. Um, so standard uh, tile producer that moved to solar integration, looks good. I've seen some live projects and pricing is also really aggressive. And one of the first provider uh, I've discovered also uh, four or five years ago when I was searching alternative to Tesla roof is the SunStyle. Um, it's um, some square panels that are assembled on the roof like a fish scale. So the way it's assembled, it basically avoids any leakage on your roof. And it's uh, glass tiles around one square meter, quite powerful, and it really looks extremely good. Um, on my century old house, uh, this is basically uh, uh, the best fit I could find in terms of aesthetics. Uh, it exists in 2007, so they have quite a few projects already live here in Switzerland, as well in Norway, in France, and also in the States. Um, they have quite some experience. My challenge with them uh, is basically to find an installer that was ready to work with that product. Uh, so when you contact uh, most roof installers, they basically used to work with um, one uh, tile provider and for them solar is just added on top of the existing roof. So finding one uh, provider that was accepting this was quite a challenge. So let's now have a look at the offer for the SunStyle roof made by the company Helion. They estimate the solar roof to be 151 square meter and being able to produce around 24 kilowatt peak. This is the maximum amount of energy it will be able to produce. It's quite good. The roof is around 170 square meters, so they cover most of it with 
this is um, quite interesting uh, here. Um, in terms of cost, uh, if you look at it, it's 76,000 Swiss francs, approximately the same amount in US dollars. Uh, I can benefit from um, retribution from the state, around 10K. Uh, of course, there's some VAT. All in, it's going to be uh, 70,000 Swiss francs. Um, I can partly deduct this from uh, my annual income, uh, but still, it's um, yeah, quite an expensive price. Uh, if I would just change the roof and not put solar on it, it would be probably around 40 to 50K, right? So if we look at the uh, details in terms of uh, how much does an actual solar tile cost, um, the one from Sunnyside is one of the most expensive one. Uh, they charge you, you can see here, for the 150 square meters, they charge you 33,000 Swiss francs. So it's 200 francs per square meters. And of course, you still need to mount this, and for this, they charge 20,000 Swiss francs. So um, yeah, quite, um, quite an amount. You still have to add up um, a few stuff, like the inverter. Uh, they've chosen here uh, the one from Solar Edge uh, at 17 uh, kilowatt um, power for um, my installation and of course you need to register the installation with the utility company have the authorization do some project management uh, add the fake tile and that's how you end up to the 70k um, if i look at the detail of my production that they estimate here what you can see is um, i use approximately 7,000 kilowatt hour per year um, i do uh, charge my electric car uh, with this amount of electricity I use the um uh, the, the washing machine and uh, and uh, all that stuff. We have uh, heating with uh, gas, so that's why this number might seem small. When you look at the estimated production, this is of course calculated with the uh, uh, with the location of the house, how the roof is um, um, is uh, is in relation to the sun. Uh, they estimate an annual production of twenty one thousand kilowatt hour. So that's it will fully cover my consumption. It's not really true. Um, as you know, you also use electricity at night. So without the battery, uh, you will still need the utility company. To what I've seen so far uh, on other installations, um, people basically are able to use um, uh, or at least reduce their consumption by 30% or have the solar roof provide 30% of the electricity. So that basically means I shouldn't end up with a 4,000 kilowatt hour uh, consumption at the utility company and 3,000 kilowatt hour um, provided by the roof. Electricity here is invoiced 20 cents per kilowatt hour and they buy it back at 10 cents. Uh, it actually makes sense that they're buying it back at a smaller price. Uh, they explain to you that transportation has its cost and uh, there is some loss of electricity in transportation. Uh, that's why you have this difference. Um, so if I make the calculation for myself, 7,000 kilowatt hour, 20 cents, this is a 1,400 Swiss francs of electricity per year. Um, my uh, production is going to be 21,000. I deduct the 3,000, there's something like 17,000 kilowatt hour left. They will buy it back at 10 cents. It's 1,000. 700 francs, right? And I will still have a, um, a consumption of 4,000 kilowatts hour, 20 cents. This is 800 francs. Um, so yeah, basically uh, they will give me some money, which is quite interesting. It's not a lot, right? It's still, uh, it's 900 Swiss francs per year. Uh, so if you want to calculate some ROI, it's gonna take years to pay back, but that's not the purpose. Right. Now, another option to consider is adding a battery pack. And Tesla has this very nice power wall that exists since a couple of years. If you see how much energy I'm producing, you could immediately think that it makes sense to, uh, to store that energy so that you can use it at a later time. And of course, there is this very nice app. And it what I really like if you own a Tesla is the, I mean, you have everything under um, one app controlling your energy consumption, being able to balance when you charge your car and when you consume your electricity. But still, uh, the, the, we're going to have a look at the uh, at uh, detailed pricing of uh, such a power wall. But if you try to make the calculation uh, of the uh, energy um, that uh, you would save by uh, using a battery, 
it's getting hard to justify or your savings will have a positive ROI after something like 30 years. Um, it's expensive and the utility company is still buying back the energy at some price. And I think the most important question to ask yourself is, um, do you have any uh, electricity outage in your area? If I look at here, it's a very old house, but I think in the seven years I've lived here, I must have had two outage of maximum five minutes. So can I live with electricity? Yes. Is the future going to be the same as the past? Um, maybe not. So this is something we could consider. And another uh, reflection we could have, say, so yeah, it anyway makes sense to store my energy uh, because I want to be um, independent from the utility company. This is basically uh, your decision to make. Um, if we look at a detailed calculation of how much that costs, we have to uh, look at. So that. detailed offered for the Tesla Powerwall. As you can see, the Powerwall itself costs a bit more than 8,000 Swiss francs, to which you need to add uh, the gateway, 1,500 Swiss francs, and of course, some uh, installation. There might be some rewiring of your house uh, to be done if you want to benefit from the backup function of the power wall. The backup function is uh, that the battery is providing you with electricity when the utility company is going offline. Um, the reason here is in Switzerland, we do have three phases and the battery, uh, the Tesla power wall is only able to uh, provide uh, backup on one phase. Uh, that means that you need to decide which elements in your house can be backed up and you need to put them all on uh, the same phase, right? Um, I've made a check in my house and it seems that it's okay. So I don't need to add some uh, further expense to that. So yeah, 14,000 Swiss francs. Um, how much can I really save with this? Remember, I have 7,000 kilowatt hour consumption per year. 3,000 is going to be provided by the solar panels. 4,000 kilowatt hours left. Let's say the battery can provide 3,000 kilowatt hour per year. That would be a net saving of 600 francs. Uh, so how many years do I need <laughs> to pay back my uh, 14,000 Swiss francs? That's approximately uh, 25 years, right? So um, does it still make sense? It's not completely off. I'm still going to have to uh, reflect on this one. I've not yet made my mind. Um, I can still install this later. Um, there will be, of course, a bit of additional cost because the electrician is already here and so on. But um, yeah, it's not completely off in terms of financial figures. It still takes a lot of time to pay back. Um, it's more a question of uh, do you want to be um, independent or do you think that in the future there will be more power outage all right so um you may have some different opinions um i mean take the chance here to uh, to uh, give me your comments i've not made my choice yet and i'm happy to uh, hear from you guys so you now have a bit more background on my project a bit more data and um i'm happy to tell you that i've chosen sunstyle as uh, solution for my roof it will look amazing this fish scale on this huge roof it will be really great people can see it from the road um, it will get a really get a great touch and as you will see it will produce quite a lot of energy so uh, please share your comments below questions uh, happy to answer here and uh, don't hesitate to follow me uh, I will keep you posted on how the installation goes, the challenge that we'll have, is certainly it's not going to be an easy one and I'll be happy to continue to post about this. Have a great day. Bye-bye.